Hi, what's up, students? How are you? Welcome to our channel, Our Coding CK. This is our new coding class, and it will conduct with Boom. It will conduct with the co-founder of the Our Coding CK YT channel, YouTube channel, and that was me. I am Arun Rajput, and I am the co-founder of the Our Coding CK YouTube channel. So, are you guys all excited for the session? Let us know what materials are required and and uh, what is our today's topic. You have already seen in the title description. Okay, okay. So I can see there is subscribers is not very good. So please, I said subscribe to our channel, like the video, share with your friends. So that's why your friends can join to our channel and became a member of the our coding CK. Okay. So welcome, students. We meet after a long time. Yes, you saw. Meet after a long time. Okay. That's because why? What's the reason we meet after a long time? And I can't take the session on the YouTube. The, the reason is that I can't come because there is some pro students that have joined. Like uh, Araf Mishra. Araf Mishra is the new student that have joined. Or uh, also they take the offline classes and the, i want to say that the pro courses are starting at just rupees 99 99 rupees is starting money and then you can uh, do very high like uh, 799 500 it starts at this code you want to choose and you will get 24 hours support okay now let's go and let's see what's the material needed for the class. Material needed for the class. It will be a rough notebook, for knots, a pen, or pencil, etc. Other material. Okay. So you need a rough notebook for notes. You will make notes. You need a pen to write. You need a pencil. If you do with work with pen, you take pen, you do with pencil, take pencil, eraser. But in the, you are if you are using pencil, take eraser sharpener okay and if you're taking fill pen don't use fluid okay it's in school point don't use fluid okay mostly school uh say don't use fluid. okay well it's very important because you are in serious classes and senior classes never make mistakes yes that's why we take pen we take pen because we are in our serious senior classes now we will do no mistake. Okay. Now the top. Let's see the topic. So the topic is HTML and CSS3. Okay. Let's do. Move on. Okay. So what is HTML? HTML. HTML stands for. What does HTML do? What's text? What's how to create, save and documents? Rules for HTML. Okay. So we will understand all this. HTML. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Is Hypertext Markup Language is the standard markup language for creating web pages and web applications. The HTML is used to create web page or web application. HTML is written in the form of HTML elements. HTML is written in the form of HTML animals consisting of includes tag. In which angle, in which uh, in which bracket, okay, in angle bracket, there's example also given. HTML elements tell the browser how to display the content. Why does we use the HTML element? We we use the HTML element. That's why that's why we uh, because the HTML element tell the browser how to display the content. Is it clear? So the most important point. Ready for the notes and this is HTML hypertext markup language underline not in your copy. Okay. Thing. HTML is written in the form of HTML elements like consisting of tags enclosed in angle bracket. An example also. This is too important. Okay. Next. Next. What is tags and attributes in HTML? Let's see what is tags. Because HTML contains tag, attribute, okay, tags and attributes, 
are the basic building blocks of HTML. The attributes and tag section attributes are the basic. We say it basic building blocks of the HTML. Okay. Tags are the labels that define the type of content that is found within a web page. So tags are the label that define the content and that which in which that is found within a web page. Attributes are used to provide additional information about the tag. The, why do we use the attribute? We use the attribute because it provides the additional information. Okay, because it uh, attributes are used to provide additional information about the tag, such as the language, the style, or type. Is this clear? Now, the most important word ready for the notes? Okay, tags and attributes are the basic building blocks of HTML. This is the important point. Tags are the label that define the type of content that is found within a web page. This is the important part. Now you uh, you do this that you write the full. You write the full. Okay, you write fully. Okay, write everything. Tax and attributes, everything. What's tax? What is attributes? Okay. Now let's game how to create and save HTML document. Let's see how can we create an HTML document and how can we save it. So first point. Open a text editor of your choice, such as Notepad or Text Edit. So first, what we will do? The first step is to open a text editor of your choice. Okay, it's your choice. You which editor you want to open? Okay, which text editor you want to open? And you can open also Notepad or Text Standard. Second point. Create the HTML document structure by adding the appropriate HTML tags. First, you and uh, second step you need to do is to create an HTML document structure by adding which? What, by adding what? By adding the appropriate HTML tags. And what will it? It will include. This will include the HTML head and body tags. Okay, as well as any other elements you would like to add. You can add other elements also. If it's your choice, what would you like to add? Third point, add content to the HTML documents such as text and images. You also add content to HTML documents like uh, images and text. Okay. Fourth point, save the file with the .html extension. Uh, file, uh, save the file. File. Save, save the file with the which extension? Dot HTML extension. Fifth step and the last step is to open the HTML document in a web browser to make sure it looks as accepted. You have to open the HTML document in web browser. Make sure it looks as accepted. Now, notes time. Ready for the notes? Okay. Now, in this you have to write all the points. All points. Okay. Now let's came to rules for writing HTML codes. Now we'll see some rules. How can we write HTML codes? First one. Use proper indentation to make HTML code more readable. You have to use some proper indentation. That's what it will make your HTML code more readable to the other coders. Second point. Make sure the syntax is correct, including the number of opening and closing text, the spelling and any punctuation. Make sure the syntax. You are writing the syntax. is will be correct. Make sure. Including, it will include the number of opening and closing tags, the spelling and any punctuation. Third point. Any, uh, always use lowercase for HTML tags and attributes name. Always. Always use lowercase for HTML text and attributes. Fourth point, use the ALT attribute for images in order to provide a text alternative for search engine. Use ALT attribute for images in order to provide a text, uh, in order to provide a text alternative for search engine. Fifth point, use external CSS. Ex use external CSS JavaScript files to keep HTML files smaller and easier to maintain. Sixth, use the title 
tag to provide a title for the page is important. Seven point: put JavaScript code in the head section of the document. You have to put the JavaScript code in the head section of the document. Or they use too many nested elements. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I say it always, not always. You have to never do it. You avoid it. Eight point is avoid using too many nested elements. Avoid it. No one will use too many nested elements. Ninth, way. ninth point. Always use the correct doc type declaration. You have to you uh, use the correct doc type declaration. Tenth point. Validate your HTML code to make sure it follows the standard. Validate your HTML code to make sure it follows the standard. Now let's see HTML5 document structure. So uh, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. Back. So let's read it for now. No time. Rules for writing HTML codes: write all the points. It is required uh, compulsory to write all the points because it is saying rules for writing HTML codes. There's points, ten points. You have to write ten points because it's the rules. Okay. Now came to HTML5 document structure. So this is the HTML5 document structure. The type HTML, HTML head, title, page title, title. So this is all the document structure. How we can read. Okay, so this is important. Notes time. Ready for the notes? Write all the structure. Okay. Now came to intro to CSS three. Now we completed the HTML. Now we will uh, there's some portion of the HTML is remaining. We will cover it in this video. Okay, in this session, in this class. Intro to the CSS three. Now we will do the introduction of the CSS three. Okay, CSS three is a new language. New student in a class. Okay, okay, it's a new language. So CSS three is the latest version of the CSS. CSS three is latest version of the CSS, the language used to style web pages and application. Uh, this language used to style web pages and application. CSS stands for cascading style sheets, and it is used to define the look of a Look and feel of a web page or an, any other application. CSS three brings with its features such as box shed. CSS bring uh, CSS three brings with with features just like an box shadow, text shadow, border radius, and gradients. These which allow for more dynamic and visual appealing web pages and application. This these features allow for more dynamic. And visually appealing, uh, appealing web pages and applications. CSS three also improved performance as well as improved support for mobile devices. Okay, now ah, uh, ready for the notes? Let's get started. So C now 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 CSS. Stands for cascading style sheets. This will the most important point. Now, see as a string brings with it features such as box shadow, text shadow, border radius, and gradients. These features allow for more dynamic and visually appealing web pages and application. These are three most important point of the CSS three. Now came to editing and exciting. HTML document. How can we edit and exist the HTML document? Next game. The first point is the most important point. Open the HTML document in a text editor. You have to open a doc text editor. HTML. Okay, HTML document. You have to open the text editor. Okay. The make the second point is make the desired change to the HTML codes. You have to make the desired changes to the HTML codes. Third point is save the HTML document. You have to save the HTML document, reload the web page, reload the page in your browser to view the changes. And most important point, if you make any changes in your 
code like code.org if you make any changes you first have to do the reset you have to do the reset then you have to run it like this in the html if you, you reload the page in your browser to if you want to view the changes in your document is it clear okay the most important point ready for the notes let's get started so this is the points you have to write all the points okay now came to founder of html we learned about html we learned about css3 now we will learn who is the founder of the html who founder founded the html the html was originally de developed by the tim berners lee in 90 in 1991 so html was originally developed by it was developed by it was found, founded by tim berners lee in 1991 okay now most important point ready for the notes so this is fully html this is all okay this is compulsory to write all okay html was originally developed by or you you can write html was developed by the tim bernalski in 1991 you uh, uh, not write was originally okay write uh, html was not write originally okay <laughs> one one uh one word reduced one word one word decrease hmm? okay guys you understood now we do the recap recap it let's do the recap okay so first we understand what is html yes we understand what is html html stands for hypertext markup language what is text and attributes how to create an S how to read and save html document rules for writing html codes html5 document structure intro to css3 editing and exciting html document and founder of html so guys your homework let's come to the homework homework time so solve the given worksheets related to html so you have to solve the related worksheets related to the html given in the discord or telegram do it honestly no one will do cheating uh, cheating like if any answer in the video or in the google you search to google please you will do your loss okay please do not do cheating okay so all the given question related to the html it will uh, i will be giving in the discord and telegram so please do it honestly okay so thank you everyone see you next time bye bye see you soon